This is Left Side of the Brain. This is part two. We're dealing with relationships. When part one ended, I was speaking about Jesus and how he knew that Peter was going to deny him. Correct me if I'm wrong, if it wasn't Peter. I believe it was Peter. He told him before the cock crows three times or when the cock crows three times that he would deny Jesus. And this is what I'm saying. Jesus, he knew who he was dealing with. Um, that story reminds me of myself. Like, you know the situation that you are in. And that has happened to me plenty of times in relationships. Like, I'll be dealing with a person and, I, and, I, and I'll see it before it takes place. And I say to myself, I can already see where this is leading. And I just play it out like Jesus did. He didn't kick Peter to the side. He just said, Peter, I know what you're going to do. You're not fooling me. People don't fool me. Because I don't put stock in people anyway. First of all, you're not supposed to gamble. And... Putting stock in people is a form of gambling. You're gambling with your peace. You're gambling with your happiness. You know, every time you're in a relationship, you are gambling with your peace of mind. Case in point, whenever you are, whenever I'm speaking with a woman, I already know in my mind that, let's just say if me and this sad woman we get together and it never fails and you men you know it it never fails the the ride ends when it begins it begins to end when it begins any ride begins to end when it begins a bus ride to a, to one destination from one destination to the other it's getting closer to the end as soon as you get inside of the vehicle. As soon as your life started, it, be, it started to end. You get what I'm saying? So that's how, that's why when I deal with any woman, rather, rather in a, whether in a sexual way or whatever, I know that it has a starting point. It's like a roller coaster. The starting point is very, very high up. And then it's exhilarating. It starts going down. It starts going down. You, your heart feels like it's, it's up in the, like you left your heart in, in the, in above your head when you, when you, when you coming down the roller coaster. And then when it starts to level out, oh, it's like oh. Then you just sit in there like, oh, what happened to all the fun? And then you're just thinking about it. And then you like, you ever noticed like when you was a kid, this is what I'm trying to convey, basically. Whenever, remember when you was a kid and you was on a roller coaster ride? And then when you got off the roller coaster ride, you had that funny, like depressed feeling. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. That's how like all relationships end. And you just left with... Oh, what I'm gonna do now? And you had your hands in your pocket, and your and your and your father or mother they was holding your other hand, and they was leading you around, and you was just looking around. Oh, what what mom and dad gonna take me next? You hear all the music, and you see the clowns, you see the people playing the little bingo games. I'm sure y'all have been to a state fair before. You know you know how it is, or or at one of these amusement parks, and when you get off the rod. You looking for the next thrill. Mommy, I want to get on this rod. I want to get on that rod. You get what I'm saying? And it's like... The carousel is too boring for you. It just goes up and down. A little music playing. And you say to yourself, this is boring. I, I, I want a more exciting rod. And, you, and that's how relationships are. You, you stay... 
you, you constantly judging the last relationship and the performance from the last relationship and you take that with you when you are searching for another relationship so that's why it's like a drug you know how they say when you get on drugs you you chasing a high it's the same way with relationships and a person becomes addicted if if a person took a drug one time and the drug made them never need any more drugs then the drug dealer will will he would go out of business you get what i'm saying so all of these things they are in the mind of people it's in our mind so why why are you chasing a chemical that's in your brain the excitement is inside of you the other person see the, what what's happening is the other person you are creating them as the plug or the button or the switch to turn on the chemical in your brain of excitement and thrill you see it's almost like masturbation the word masturbation let's get deep now enough enough beating around the bush let's get deep let's get into it pull your chairs up to the table let's get deep it's almost like masturbating dig peep the word masturbation master bait what is the bait that gets a person hooked on to the opposite sex i just said it sex so when you masturbate you take control of the bait you mastering it you doing it yourself without having someone else to do it for you you get what i'm saying you master the bait and that's why really a lot of women they don't they really don't want prostitution to be legal actually let me stop let me take the kitty gloves off women don't want master prostitution to be legalized and i'm gonna tell you why it's too much advantage for females in this society when it comes to sex because they control it you chase them and as long as you are chasing them see one power that a woman has in relationships she has the power to say yes or no you take her out to eat you're sitting at the table you're trying to impress her and she has the power to say yes or no she has the power to go on another date as soon as you drop her off or as soon as you and her leave the restaurant you go your separate ways you give her that little hug she got she has somebody else texting her and you didn't even know it she went to the bathroom and was talking to the person on the phone but because you are in a body that is separated from the part that it goes into like a clip goes into the bottom of a gun you separate it from the woman where your clip your penis goes into the hole the vagina because you are separated from it you're trying to connect with it you're trying to stick it let's just be real let's be adults here that's that's where she has the advantage whenever you are in a situation where somebody has something that you want that you don't have without them they can make you a slave to them and that's the danger in relationships you can become a slave to that thing that has what you desire that can be how a person look anything now i still have the healthy relationship clause now now if it's a person that like me like for instance let's just say i don't talk like this to regular girls in public but let's just say if i 
a girl on the left side of the brain channel or somebody that I could really be free with. I've said this before. I wouldn't have to put on an act in front of a person like that. I'm going to be honest. I don't even talk like this around a lot of men. Because it's a lot of men that act like women out here, man. And you know what I classify a man and a woman? You know what I classify that? How I classify that? Those who have logic and they know how to reason and use their logic over their emotions. That's what I classify as a man. And I know a lot of you men, you know what I'm saying. You will attest to this. Like, yeah, left side, that's right. Because as men, we know it's a lot of men out here that they don't qualify as men in our book. You know what I'm saying? A man is more than just having testosterone. A man, this, this is what a man is. Testosterone plus right knowledge. The right logic. That's what a man is. A man is myself. I'm an example of a man. <laughs> Logic and testosterone. I see. If you don't see, how can you be a man? One of the qualities of a man is leadership. If you can't see through the deception in this world, how can you lead a family? How can you protect them? Do they not say that one of the uh, qualities of a man is to be a provider and a protector how can you be any of those things and you don't have this type of information inside of you you fail as being a man i'm sorry to tell you so that's what it is you see a lot of men get comfortable hearing things about the females but in reality a lot of the things i say about females you can apply it to men it's a lot of men in those situations you see so what I'm saying is it's like this man I don't recommend anybody to get in a monogamous relationships can be dangerous as well I don't recommend people getting to here's the thing you will know it if it feels like you are this okay thank you spirit if it feels like you having to sell your soul to be with that person leave leave it alone once it start feeling draining it's over with you don't have no control over yourself that person controls you they master your bait you're not masturbating at that point they master your bait they pulling you along by the penis. You see, when it gets to that point, it's over with. Exit stage left. Otherwise, you will be in bondage with that person. And that's the worst uh, position you can put yourself in. It takes your joy away from you. That person, will they will control your joy they will control your, your thinking at night. You'll be laying down at night. You'll be worrying about that person. You'll be worrying about how they think about you, how they feel about you. Essentially, you will, you will become that person. What that person thinks about you, that's what you would become. So you're not even living in your mind. You're living in the mind of how that person feels about you. And that's why I said... That you will never find yourself in the eyes of a person in a relationship. And the only way you will find your, your true value is how you view yourself. Nobody can give you that. Self-esteem shouldn't come from success in the eyes of another person. You know where I get my self-esteem from? By making these videos By getting the lesson that the, the most high gives me By absorbing this truth 
and becoming uh, more knowledgeable and stronger every day. It's just like this. When you watch these videos, you get stronger each and every time. This is like going into <clears throat> the weight room. You know what I'm saying? And <clears throat> every single time you come in here, this is the weight room. Every time you come in here, you get stronger each and every time. You're doing spiritual pull-ups and spiritual sit-ups. you lifting. Hold on, let me show y'all. you lifting spiritual dumbbells. Ugh. Ugh. Did y'all see that video when I was in the weight room? That's what you're doing. That's just a metaphor, but you're doing that in a spiritual sense. That's what you're doing. And I commend you for that. When a jaguar in nature, only time you see a jaguar with a female jaguar is when they is when they are uh, having sex, when they copulating for you proper people, copulating, copul co copulating, copulating. That's the only time you'll see them come together. And then the mother jaguar. She'll she'll sit there and she'll nurse the babies. See relationships. See some of this stuff is it's nothing wrong with relationships. Don't get me wrong, because I I told you that there is a such thing as healthy relationships. But here's the thing: some of this, what I'm saying, you see, women by nature, they have to be in a relationship. Because they are mothers. Mothers will always have a lot of children around them, community around them, um, institutions, the legal system. Women are a protected group in society. Yes, there is exploitation of children and women, but women and children are protected it's men who are thrown to the wolves a lot of times now for a man to be protected like that he have to be in the inner coven of that type of world that secret society world he has to be really in the bloodline you see but women are very valuable valuable in this world because that's where you get the prisoners from that's where they they use women as the vehicle to to bring in prisoners of the soul from one side into from one dimension into this world see the woman is the gateway so having said that She's always more social and she's that's why women always want to lead a man into a relationship. You as a man, you just be thinking like, and me too. I just want to have sex. If the girl is cool, you don't mind having sex and keeping her around because you know she's cool. Her her attitude and her vibe and the way she is, her persona, sometimes it doesn't push you away from her but some girls you just want to fuck let her suck and you want to be done with it it's like that with some females but some females you don't mind like taking them out because you say to yourself well this the relationship with her is healthy she don't stress me out and she doesn't uh prevent me from being who i am Really, that's really the only thing I require of a female. I'm going to be honest. If I can be myself around a woman, I'm good. As long as she let me be myself, talk my left side of the brain information, don't try to get me to watch them uh, NBA housewives and 
Let me play the kind of music I want to play in the car without you saying, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear uh, little, you know, them latest rappers and stuff out. Because a lot of these girls, you get with them and you have to play that kind of music when you're around them. Trust me, man. I've been in this situation. I know. I know. And sometimes, and guess what? I've did it before. I'm going to be honest with you. I've did it before. I, I I played the red pill and blue pill, but guess what? Once I had sex with the girl, I was done. And if she liked it, she liked me, she come back, but I let her know through my actions that this is no relationship. And if she just liked me enough, she just want to be around me. Because sometimes women like to chase, but I know that I can't be myself around you. We got two different type of minds. I might be physically attracted to you, but that's it. Then you got women that have a, uh, a more connection. A more connection with the type of things I speak about on this channel. Now, if you're a man, that's the type of woman that you can be in a healthy relationship with. And other types... Don't play games with your mind. And before you do, remember these things I speak about. So you will be like, you know what? Left side talked about this. What am I doing in this situation? You have to be. I'm not going to tell you what type of woman to be with. One thing I don't do, I don't tell people who to have sex with, how to dress. That's none of my business. I'm just telling you what it is. And this is why this is the best channel on YouTube. Because I just tell you what it is. You can do whatever you desire or want to do with the information. It's not going to bother me. Because I, I know who I am. You see, I, I'm absorbed in myself. Not in vanity, like I said, but in confidence of who I am. Just like God. Like I like I said in part one, he spent so much time in front of the mirror reflecting and learning his reflection. You know, if you want to learn how to uh, live for yourself and not for others, do a 10 minute exercise. Just look at, look at yourself in the mirror and just look at yourself like you never looked at yourself before and just look at just look at your your eyes and just stare don't think about nothing just just look just let your mind just be free and just look at yourself in the mirror and just come in one with yourself take a take a spiritual selfie take a spiritual selfie of yourself and just look at yourself and discover who you are. And I, and I promise you, when you start like listening to these videos, after you hear this video today, I bet you, you will, you will look at the world differently. Once you look at part one, part two, I bet you your whole view of relationships will change. And I'm here to let you know that. You don't need relationships as much as you think you do. Stay out of toxic, unhealthy relationships. Embrace yourself. Embrace your loneliness. Once you embrace your loneliness, you will discover that lonely is not lonely. You will discover that lonely is really talking to God. See... When you in that in that carnal mind, you think lonely means I'm bored. What am I gonna do? But when you are, when you are spending time with yourself, that's when God turns into loneliness. Well, really, He was always there. So you are never really out out of the bounds of a relationship as long as you have the Most High to meditate upon. He'll send you insights about this world. Just like he gave them to me. 
I'm with you right now because we good company. This is a healthy relationship. And when I make these videos, in my mind, I'm looking at you based upon your comments and stuff. I'm already looking at each and every one of you. It's like we are right here together, even if I don't know you personally. Just if we, we, the spirit is outside of the body. So this information, we are right in front of each other right now because this truth is something that goes beyond space and time this is for the deep people so you can be watching this in your bed right now at 3 p.m in the morning under a blanket i'm right god is right there beside you and my voice he's using my voice as a vehicle so you listening to me so basically i'm right there beside you as well because one of my senses, my sense of sound is right, right there going into your eardrums and you and you probably nodding your head, agreeing with what I'm saying. That's like giving me a high five and giving me a pound. Yeah, man, that's what's up. Giving me dap without me even being there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to end this video right now. This is Left Side of the Brain. Hope you all enjoyed this series on relationships. This is left side of the brain and I'm signing out.